Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to create a new app with an empty activity, and I will name it as Layouts App. I will choose Kotlin and the API 21. Click on Finish and wait for it Android Studio to configure the project. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn. You came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. If we look closer on this um, code, we see the set content view r dot layout activity underscore main. This is what we have talked about in the previous videos that we use this layout in order to set the content of this activity in order to display the content for this activity as this layout. Okay, so. Let's go to the split mode here. And we see this code of the constraint layout containing the text view widget. One thing I should mention here, if we go to the design and we look on, uh, we look at the component tree here, we see that there, the root is a constraint layout containing the text view. So if I want to add the layout, linear layout, okay, either horizontal or vertical, I will use a horizontal. I drag it and drop it under the constraint layout. We can see that the linear layout is a child of uh, or uh, in included inside the constraint layout and the text view is included into the constraint layout. I can move the text view and drag and drop it under the linear layout. So the linear layout becomes the, the, the included a widget or the widget that are included inside the constraint layouts are the linear layout, which is the parent and the text view, which is included into the linear layout itself. Don't worry, we will see this in action. So, and in deep presentation, I will remove everything from here. Keep this line. This is as, um, as a mandatory for defining the XML version. We start by to create the linear layout. Our lesson now is about the linear layout. Later on, we'll talk about the constraint layout. You see that the width and the height are obligatory. Okay, so I will define match or uh, um, we can see that these are the mandatory attributes, but, but there is a very important thing that I need to write before defining the attribute, which is x m l and s i will choose it and here we go this is for loading the resources and the xml in the schema.android.com okay so i need to add this line at first and then we can add the attributes i will delete it click alt plus enter to insert the required attributes, which are Android here. Oops. Alt plus enter define layout width and height. You see that Android keyword is added because we used the, uh, this line. So always add this line when you define a new layout. Uh, as a root layout, okay? And Android, we start by Android and layout underscore height. 
which is required. You see, this is the annotation of required. We use match parent and match parent because uh, this is linear layout. So it, define, uh, it defines the height and the width as long and uh, as uh, the width of the parent and which is the full screen okay this is the linear layout this is how we create a linear layout you can specify an id linear one you can specify the background which can be for example like black and other colors and we've seen how to add in the previous uh, exercises and videos how to add images inside the drawable folder and set it as a background for this linear layout we can see the android call weight layout weight which is for example 40 or 4 okay this is how much space but i don't prefer using the weight later on we will see it in the constraint layout how it will define the layouts responsibly okay now i can specify the orientation which is the most important uh, attribute for the linear layout i said i will set it as a horizontal and by default if we don't specify it it will uh, understand that this linear layout will be a horizontal by default okay in order to close the uh, the linear layout we put this greater than sign and with this is a closing tag so till now we have created a linear layout that it's of horizontal orientation inside the horizontal uh, or this horizontal linear layout i need to create the widgets so we start by the views again a linear layout is a view group that contains the other view groups or views okay so either you can put views view groups or both later on when we create complex application we will see that we, will, we are inserting and we are adding complex layouts to to layouts and widgets and views to the same layout we will start by a text view a text view it needs it, it, it needs the the wrap content the wrap content for the width and the wrap content for the height i will put text this is the attribute hello we are in linear layout okay now i will use the size of the text which is 32 dp which is good okay i know you can create this but the target of this video is to show you the linear layout and it's powerful um, uh, powerful management and ordering of the uh, of the widgets consider if i have the, another text view wrap content wrap content text is text number two and size would be 32 dp you can see that we are aligning them into a horizontal so again i will make it as as 20 dp in order to be uh, to be good you can see that the, these texts are aligned horizontally if i create another one another text view text view wrap content wrap content text would be text three text size oops would be 10 or 20 for dp and text would be text three you can see that these text views are aligned horizontally in this 
application. If I change the orientation from horizontal to vertical, you can see that the text views are changed in order to become a vertical, aligned in vertical way. You can see this is the first text, this is the second text, and this is the third text. Okay. This is the usage or uh, how to use uh, the linear layout. If we go to the design, we can see that this linear layout in the component tree, text view one, two, and three. If I need to change the order of these, I can drag text three to up, and you can see the text three is above text one. Or simply, we can go to the code. I can cut the text number two and paste it above at the root of the, at the top uh, of the widgets included inside the linear layout. You can see text two is now above, text three, and then text one. This is how we create and use the linear layout. Later on, we will see this linear layout in many projects. Okay, I can create a nested linear layout. So inside this linear layout, I can create another linear layout. Wrap content, wrap content, and I will give it an ID linear to, and inside this linear layout, I will create, I don't miss the, the closing tag. I need to set the, uh, the orientation to vertical and inside this i will add buttons wrap content wrap content uh, text of the button would be button number one and i will close it if i add another button here it will be in a vertical way third button and so on if I change the vertical to horizontal, it will give me these buttons, okay? If I need to add some spaces between these buttons in the, in the, ver in the vertical and horizontal way, I can use the padding attribute, which is, I prefer using uh, 4DP, this for the padding. And if I need to add spaces between the uh, buttons itself, I will use margin. So it would be for the P, the spaces, this attribute I should uh, make, this is for the, uh, the linear layout itself. Okay, if I copy this inside this button, it will be good in the second button also would be good and the third button would be mar margin and padding you can see that we have added some margins and padding for the first button the second button and the third button and we have added for the whole layout the margins from above and the padding from in the inside it okay this is how we style the applications using the linear layout.